It was a cold Wednesday night in Wolfside's Discord server. The children are all about discussing reality, vitality, and his sexuality. With the light, one came up to speak, a smile so bright. I came from Wattpad in the beginning when I first joined the internet, but fuck this is bad, she said. Make a video on it, another spoke. With Christmas cheer and classic summer sleep deprivation, should I, Wolfside asked. Yes please, they replied, with an eager tone in their message. With childish glee, he dashed to his computer and searched. Hey, I don't mean to crash your pity party, Wolf aside, but are we gonna get this started or do I have to stab you to death? Oh, so we're actually doing this again? As I woke up from my bed, I thought about what has happened in the last few years. After the barrier was broken, all the monsters came into the human world. The humans got used to us, and so peace was, was achieved. After we had peace, Dad and me went and got our own place into the woods, by a bunch of yellow flowers. It was our perfect place. I never saw Mom or anybody, though. But I did call them every week. Every time, all happy and cheerful, talking. It was great. <laughs> I'll take this. <clears throat> I'm finally getting up then. Asriel, breakfast is ready, said Asgore. Be right there. Let me get dressed, I replied. When I finally got dressed, I went into the kitchen to see French toast, eggs, pancakes, bacon, sausage, and some tea. People have tea with their breakfast? D d Apparently. Okay. Um, there was also a note next to this that said, Happy birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot. Thanks, Dad. Double digits. Ooh, you're welcome, son. About your gift. I'll give it to you later, replied Dad. That's fine, I said. Uh, time lapsed to 9.30. I chilled out on the couch watching MTT and wondering what my gift will be. As another 30 minutes, two by, Dad finally appears. You ready for your present? Dad asks. Dad got really close after saying this, but I didn't think anything of it. I'm so ready for it, I said excitedly. Okay, here's your gift, said Dad. After he said this, he grabbed me and dragged me to his room. Hey, what's going on? I cried. Dad said nothing, but instead ripped. No, that, 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 yeah, we're, we're stopping here. We're gonna stop here and do something else, cause I think, uh, number one, this video is gonna get taken down. Number two, we're both gonna get cancelled. Number three, my mother will somehow find this video and think I'm into incest. So here's what we're gonna do, Gummy. We're gonna move and not do that anymore. Hmm? Yeah? I think we could both agree on that. <laughs> Alright, so we have a flirting lesson. Um, I don't remember who this was sent to me by. Sent to me by somebody, but it's, uh, it's Rousey X Chris. I'll, um, I'll start it off. Look, Chris, it's a dummy I made a while back. Days before your arrival, actually. Why not practice battling on it? The cheery prince took a battle stance, clearly ready for a fight against the dummy. Chris shows agreement by nodding and taking a battle stance himself. So, first of, so first off, Let's try fighting. Simply slash at your dummy with your sword. Chris readies himself and slashes the dummy at the perfect time. Wow, that was an incredible attack, Chris. Have you done this before or something? Dude, I wish I would get like a commendation for hitting a dummy well. Jeez, man, that's like... That's, that, that's like playing a game and getting a reward for doing well in like warm-up. What's the point? Alright, uh, hmm, no matter what, I suppose. Anyway... Next up, let's try acting. To act, just go up to the dummy and give it a hug. Ralse slightly blushes and points at the dummy? Alright, you go. <laughs> Chris looks at Ralse, the dummy, and back at Ralse as he goes and hugs him. C chris I don't think this is what y you're supposed to be doing, but um, if you want to, then... Chris lets go of Rousey and goes back to his previous position. S so now, let's try defending. Just hold up your shield and you'll take less damage. Plus, you'll gather some TP as we 
Chris flirts with Rousey. Chris flirts with Rousey. Rousey. Should I call the heaven for you? Because I heard they lost a heavenly cute goat up there. <laughs> Dude, that that is terrible. That is so... That is so cheesy, dude. Like, what kind of line is that? It's on the same level of a, hey, uh, are you a parking ticket? Cause I'm... <laughs> Whatever, however that one. It's the same level as that. It's really bad. I've, I've, you know, I've had a little bit of romantic experience, physically and online. I can say that's really shit. Um, okay. Chris, are you really flirting with me? Chris nods. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. No one ever flirted with me before. Should I, should I flirt back? Uh, it's, I don't know. Maybe. Chris shows a thumbs up. Well, alright then. Just give me a second to come up with something. Oh, I know. Your turn. Are you against the law, Chris? Because I'd commit a crime for you. <laughs> so, how was it? <sighs> that is... Whoever wrote this has obviously yeah. never dated a single person their entire life. <laughs> Man, you're pretty damn handsome. Let me just go commit murder for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Wonderful. All right, keep, keep it going. <laughs> Chris says, it was all right, but it could use some work. Oh, well, why don't you teach me then, Chris? Looks like you're pretty good at it. As Rousey finishes the sentence, Chris immediately guides Rousey face to face before the dummy. First off, check your target's looks and try to come up with something that would suit them. Plus, if you know something about their personality, try to use that too. Having more options always helps. Oh, well, the I wasn't finished. Some people might not enjoy direct flirting. So with them, try to make your flirting a bit more subtle, or try to soften them up like I did by hugging you. Now go and flirt with the dummy. Oh, so this is like how to get a girlfriend 101 or some shit. Okay. <laughs> Rousey nods and looks over the dummy. Um, so, uh, how about this? So, I see you have horns, but I bet you're really just an angel in disguise. How else could you be so heavenly beautiful? <laughs> Chris's face lit up. Great work, Rause. If I had horns, I'd be ar I'd be already planning a date with you. Now, as I said before, not everyone will be high over heels for you if you go straight for flirting. You need to soften them up first. So why don't you try it on me? Rause turns to Chris and immediately hugs him, catching him off guard. Hmm, <laughs> you know that my aunt tactics won't work for me, right? Uh, Rause giggles, still not letting go of Chris. I do. I'm just returning the favor from earlier. Rose gives Chris a warm smile. That wasn't even that slick. I'll give props where it's due, but, but so far no props are due. A blush creeps onto Chris's face. Damn it. He's so cute. Chris says to himself. Ha! I got you. You're blushing. Rousey shouts and points at Chris's face. L well... Looks like you do, heh. You know, for a monster, you're pretty good at flirting yourself. That's kind of rude! That's so rude! <laughs> oh yeah, for a monster, you're pretty good. Dude, that is specious. That is so niche -y. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? You think so? I mean, I never flirted with anyone. This is pretty much my first experience with it, and I was kind of worried I might make it AK Ward, and... Chris presses his <laughs> finger against... Rousey's muzzle. Don't worry, you did good. Rousey blushes and takes a step back as he stares at the ground. Well, then can I ask you for one last favor? Sure, anything for my fluffy friend, Chris answers with a smile. Can't you be in my YouTube video? Chris was definitely caught off guard more than before, but he couldn't say no to Rousey. To say the truth, he wanted to he wanted this as well. You mean like on your channel? Rousey started to blush even more as he asked Chris's question. Well, if you don't mind the fact that I'm I'm a small channel with 60 subscribers, I would love it if you can do a sub for sub. Please, Rousey, t <laughs> Rousey tugs Chris by one of his shoulder pads, pulling him into a sub tweet. 
Chris gives into <laughs> Chris gives into the kiss after a second of hesitation. I put that joke on for way too long. After a minute of embracing each other and kissing, they break apart. Huff. S so, does this make us pee pee partners now? The worked up goat asks. It makes us puff. Whatever you want us to be. Fuck buddies. The human answers and wipes off some sweat. Chris, do you consider me sexually attractive? Rose shyly almost whispers. Chris freezes, wondering if Rose really said what he thinks he said. I, I, Chris tries to speak, but cannot. Feels like there's something stuck in his throat. Rose giggles under his scarf until he bursts into a laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. You don't have to answer if you don't wanna. <laughs> Fuck. Rose looks down on the ground, feeling a little ashamed of himself. I, 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 I just wanted to, to, to ask. Did you know the age of consent in Japan is 13 years old and the government needs to get on this ASAP? Rousey looks back up at Chris. He really wasn't expecting an answer, especially not an affirm affirm affirmative to his question, but he got it. Wait, you really mean it? Chris nods. A minute of silence is exchanged between them. Chris, does that mean you want to t t t oh Oh t t touch me as well? Rousey suddenly moves closer to Chris. Chris, I want it as well. What? Rousey shoves Chris, making him fall and lay against the dummy as he sits on top of Chris's legs. I want you to 50% off all G Fuel products. Use code KEEM. Please. Please. Meanwhile, not too far before the first puzzle. A big purple monster is mumbling on her way back to the gate she went through earlier. Ugh, those jerks. I thought they would catch up with me in no time. But it looks like they didn't even exit the town yet. I bet they're just sitting somewhere, around there sipping tea or some other nonsense. She barges through the field of hopes and dreams, reaching the gate and going through it. Hey nerds, what are you doing in here for so long? I already got- Susie overhears a conversation between Rousey and Chris. Chris, I want to be yours, and yours alone. Huh? Susie decides to- Ah! Susie decides to go on and listen some more as she slowly moves closer to them. R Rose, are you sure? I need you too much to back out now. How? How? They just started flirting like, was it this, like ten minutes ago? Rose says softly as he slightly- Sister slap. What the fuck, Susie unintentionally exclaims, grabbing both Rousey and Chris's attention. Susie, for how long have you been standing there? Rousey's face turns red as he quickly gets off the monkey bars and helps him get up. That doesn't matter. What the hell are you two doing? Susie's clearly confused about, well... Everything that's going on right now. We were just, um, practicing picking up allies and battle. No, bitch, you were grinding on his pee. Okay. We were, uh, uh, Susie doesn't believe a word of his sentence. But due to the fact of how weird out she is, she just has to ignore everything that just happened and have to go if they do the same. They agree, and the familiar jingle can be heard. Susie, join the party. Whew. Susie the cock block. The party, consisting of two monsters and one human, continued their journey through the field of hopes and dreams. Their journey was pretty uneventful, though. The most exciting thing being the meeting with Sean and getting to look around his seat 
Not even the battles were much fun. They started to feel the same and, Sus and to Susie kind of annoying. No one from the trio said a word since what happened at the training dummy. It was way too awkward for anyone to say anything after that. For anyone except Susie. Her mind was filled with tots and questions. And she couldn't bear the silence any longer. Nah! <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry, but if no one's gonna speak up, then I'm gonna be the one breaking the silence over this party. She suddenly exclaims, making both Rousey and Chris stop and look at her in confusion. I get it. I caught you two doing weird things in your lovey-dovey moment, and now it feels weird for you to talk to each other, or me, but silence is not is really not a better solution than, than trying to figure thing out. Plus, this silence really pisses me off. She stops for a sec she stops for a moment to catch her breath, only to continue talking a second later. So now, you two will sort all these feelings and other mushy bullshit right here, and right now, or I'm leaving again and you two can feel as comfortable as you want. I'm better off without you two nerds anyways. She sits on a nearby tree stump and watches the prince and the human laying her axe's top. The prince gathers the courage and looks right at Chris's face, a huge blush appearing as he does so with a frown hiding behind all of it. <laughs> The human does the same, not blushing though, but frowning directly and trying to look away immediately. You know, when you're writing a fan fiction, I'd expect you to, I don't know, maybe, you know, you have Google it's here, you know, you can spell mightily correctly. The prince opens his mouth as if he wants to speak, but closes it a might. Oh, sh oops. Oh, come on, Susie. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, come on, Susie lets out ang angrily once again. They really have to be your counselor? She stands up and walks over to them. That's toothpaste, boy. She grabs his head and locks it in the direct stare with Chris's face as she does the same to him. What are you so flustered about all this time? When would a silence is shared only for Rousey to finally speak up? I I I'm flustered because he put me in his Twitter bio. <laughs> I got carried away by my neediness, and now you both probably just see me as a mindless thing that just follows its needs. What the fuck? Where did that come from? We still got way deeper. Okay. The front and Rouse's face started to reappear just for Susie to step in. Yeah, no, that's some bullshit you're spinning right there. To me, you're a toothpaste boy and you'll always be that. No matter how needy or the types of messed up you might be. He turns her head and looks at Chris as she catches Rouse smiling at her in the corner of her eye. Alright. Now you, bitch. What's up with that frown? Hope you know that this edgy look doesn't suit you at all. I like that line. I'm gonna use that. Chris behaves like a like a lifeless husk, letting Susie shake with his head, but not reacting at all. Still answering her question though. I feel bad because I actually liked how ooh, Rousey behaved. I liked every single second of it. Every word he let out, every sound he made, every movement he performed. And I fear that if he continued, I might have not be able to keep my keep it to myself anymore. But I've done something bad to him. You mean fuck him? I mean, you mean f pound him, right? You're really turning full emo on us, aren't you, Chris? She chuckles. I mean, come on now. You're talking like you would have murdered Toothpaste Boy over there. Oh, yeah, know that wouldn't happen. The worst thing you would do to him that you <laughs> you rape him. And what? I... <laughs> Can I say something completely sidetracked? When I played Deltarune, I just felt Susie's energy. Like, it's so strong. I feel like I resonate with Susie a lot. I just... Her energy, everything. I love her. All right. Chaotic energy. Chaotic energy. You go. Um. Right after I said what, uh, like if you would rape him and what, I bet he might even enjoy it if you. Oh. She laughs and releases both of them. Chris letting out a little smile before going back to his usual expression. I I wouldn't enjoy such. Thing, Susie. Now you're just making m m m me look like a slut. <laughs> the prince lets out 
angrily with a brush blush all over his face. Oh really no. Oh, have, oh. I, I was gonna I was gonna talk because like whenever I hear like whenever I hear like background noise from your side that's when I like usually cut in because I, I, I oh really now then how about we test it she picks Chris up Chris attack what Susie I'm not your dog plus I want to rape Rousey just to prove your point oh you go oh god you go <laughs> <laughs> throwing you under the bus here Chris struggles to <laughs> break out of the monsters gr- with no chance of s- succus. <laughs> well then, I'll just have to make you. Throws Chris at Rousey, thinking she would hit him directly. Oh no. Rousey just gets out of the way, and Chris ends up flying into a bush. <sighs> Ow! How is that supposed to make me want to rape Rousey? <laughs> he peeks out of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you would hit Rousey. <laughs> And end up laying on top of him. Like, you know, in every generic romantic novel or movie. She yells at him, grinning at him in the process. This isn't a movie, though! He yells back at her as Susie answers by just shrugging her shoulders. Chris lets out an annoyed, hmm. And thanks to Rousey, they soon get back on track. This time, conversations are just coming one after another. So, Gummy, yeah. what did we learn today? Don't fuck kids 